The winner of the house category is Stacking Green in Vietnam by Vo Trong Nghia Architects. Would you like to come up, please? So, hi, congratulations. Um, Thank you. Tell us about yourselves, first of all. Tell us you know, where you're from and, and what kind of office you run. Uh, we from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And uh, yeah, we hope to have uh, both office in Ho Chi Minh and in Hanoi, but this how in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, and um, are, you a, are you a big company or a small company? We have uh, around 30 architects in our company, with 20 in uh, Ho Chi Minh City and 10 in Hanoi. Is, is there a lot of architecture happening in Vietnam? I mean, we think about the architecture in the East, we think about Singapore and you know, Hong Kong and um, Tokyo and, and China. Is Vietnam also a very active place? Is there a lot of development happening in, in your country? Yes, now we, uh, we are, uh, they are developing uh, so quick, but uh, we also have uh, many problems at like Ho Chi Minh City. We have uh, nearby 10 million living in Ho Chi Minh City and also in Hanoi. So we have uh, many uh, urban problems like traffic jam or the house or like uh, building, like they are making the building like in uh, Europe with totally different um, climate, yeah. So you're saying the building like uh, European buildings, but that's the wrong type of architecture for, yeah, for the country? Yeah, because uh, uh, the climate is totally different. Uh, in uh, Europe, it, uh, uh, you can build with, uh, because in the winter, but in, in Ho Chi Minh, we just have the hot the summer, so we, it might be different, but we almost do the same thing. So this brings us on to the winning house. Tell us about this project and how it, it deals with the, the climate and tell us about the architecture of this project. In uh, Vietnam, uh, we have many problems with uh, energy and uh, uh, electricity. It can stop many times in a day. So we design our house, you know, in a tropical climate, we just make good shadow and invite the wind into the house and we use the sunlight instead of the lighting so we can reduce up the electricity using, yes. So how do you achieve this? And tell us about this uh, really striking facade with the, the plants in it. Tell mm. us about how the form and the, and the plants reduce the need for cooling. In Ho Chi Minh City, we have nearby 10 million people living in. So the house in Ho Chi Minh City, almost tube house, but we try to plant the, the, the tree on the facade because it reduces the pressure from the city and also protect the house from direct sunlight. But uh, you can see in um, Singapore that they plant the tree on the, the bridge on the uh, highway, it's like that. And we have the vertical garden. It's very it's simple idea and not too much for maintenance. You talk about a, a tube house, did you call it? So yes. what's that's like a narrow plot of land that's yes. very typical in the city? Uh, we can say that it's a typical type in Ho Chi Minh City with tube house, like uh, outside just 4 meter and 20 meter, and uh, the most typical like 4 meter, 20 meter, and 5 meter, 20 meter, or 6 meter with and 15 meter, like mm. that, yes. So you've got a very narrow site. So, so what is this? This is a house for a, what, a couple uh, or a family. Who lives in this house? They for one family with a grandmother and with a couple, a couple, and now they have one children. Yes. Okay. And um, so, tell us about what's what's the accommodation in the house. So tell us how, if you go into the house, what do you find? How is how are the rooms arranged in the house? At the ground floor, we have one bedroom with a garage and um, courtyard. But at the first floor, we have the kitchen, uh, dining room, and living room. And uh, at the second floor, with the master bedroom. And at the third floor, with the one study room. But it can be a children's room in the future. Yes. And was it an expensive house to build? Was it more expensive than the normal house, or was it? cheaper than the normal house? Well, you can see that because we just use the simple idea for the, for the facade, so it uh, can, it's really normal, uh, just uh, around 400 US dollar for one square meter. 
it really cheap even in Vietnam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And how does it, it it rains a lot in Vietnam. So how do you stop the rain from coming into the house with this open facade? Oh, it's good question. But uh, we have a lot of rain in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, but we have one layout with the green and one layout with air and one layout with glass. And you if you invite to go into the house, you just open the, the window. But when the rain, because you can see many like the shadow to stop almost the rain and it really difficult to go into the house and even when it's raining you can open the the window too so it really it really is effective in all yes. different types of yes. climate and what is the material that you've used you see this kind of this band of um is it stone or tiles or something like that when you take one big stone there are many pieces you threw out and i just cut the piece to put it together to make the finishing of the house so from tiles is it from the no no from, from stone from stone, yes, okay. So this is waste material, and you've used that in the kitchen. All, all of the house. In the whole house. Yes, okay. yes. Well, it's a very beautiful and very striking project. So congratulations on winning the category. Thank and you very good much. Good luck later on with the big prize. Thank you very much.